September 11th drastically changed the course of the country and of the Bush presidency. Perhaps no man witnessed more of the decisions and key moments with the president than Eric Draper. Now, his name might not ring a bell, but there's no question you'll recognize his work. Take photos for a living, especially of the commander in chief, and you get a front row seat to history. He got very serious. Um, you can tell he was respectful of the children that he was reading to, um, but you can tell something was, was wrong. For Eric Draper, the chief photographer to President George W. Bush, no moment proved more defining than 9-11. Really focused on um, the president's reaction to what was happening. And, you know, I made a picture of him walking by that television with the live pictures of the burning towers. He picked up a notepad and he started writing his first thoughts to, uh, to make his first statement. From the instant the president was notified of the first plane striking the Twin Towers to those pivotal first public remarks. Two airplanes have crashed into the World Trade Center. To rushing off to Air Force One, Draper documented it frame by frame. I remember arriving at the airplane, the, the engines were on already uh, on Air Force One, and typically they're not on until the president boards. So I remember standing next to the president where he's, there's a huddle around him, the Secret Service, Andy Card, uh, the military aide, all telling him that it was not safe to return to Washington. I remember how angry he was. And I remember he turned and looked at me and it, was, and it felt like he was looking through me. I was so close to the action. It was very, very surreal, very intense. In the hours and days that followed, Draper would capture some of the most iconic images now associated with that tragedy. You can feel the emotion while we're there. I mean, we, we walk in there and um, you can still feel the heat from the rubble uh, as we toured the, uh, the disaster zone. And the firefighters, are, they're still angry. They, they were hugging him, they were crying. They, they, they really wanted him to do something. And that's when he stood on the rubble and uh, with the bullhorn. I can hear you, the rest of the world hears you, and the people... And the people who knocked these buildings down will hear all of us soon. A former AP photographer, Eric would spend all eight years of the Bush White House snapping photos, taking nearly one million in total, no matter where the president went. Uh, you know, mountain biking or uh, cutting cedar that would grow like weeds on the ranch, and he would recruit staff like myself to help him. And, you know, it was a, it was a great way to, to burn off steam. In fact, it's at the Bush family ranch here in central Texas where Draper says he caught his favorite image, the president driving his pickup only weeks before everything shifted. But just that moment, a month before 9-11, when I see that photo, I see a sense of innocence before the world changed. Uh, that picture to me stands out. An innocence that was soon lost 20 years ago this week.